the Gig Master has a new toy to play with. Are y'all ready? Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. Alright, before we get into this right here, it's called The Legend. It's made by Nocta Macro. And I want to tell you a little bit about the company first before we get into it. Uh, Nocta Macro has been in business since 2003. For y'all not familiar with the company itself, they're actually uh, based out of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, now, I have purchased several of their products before, and I want to tell you about those before we get into the legend here. One, I was out looking for something I could dive with because I got my hookah system. I could go around the bottom and look stuff, and I started looking at all these handheld um, detectors. And so I researched them all, looked at all the information, all of them, and I ended up buying this right here. It's made by Nocta Macro. It's called a pulse dive. It comes with this coil. This coil is separate. They may have packages where you can get them both now, but at the time it came with this one. But I tell you what, I did great with this thing right here. I'm just kind of letting y'all know about their products. This particular one here, I actually uh, dove down my hookah system at a site, found cannonballs, case shot, uh, shrapnel, uh, cannonball fragments, all kind of stuff, and I'll put some pictures up there, some of the stuff I found with this right here. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, great, great product right there. Uh, second product I bought was a Nocta Macro Simplex. It's a waterproof detector. I heard so much about it. I said, man, I got to buy one. I need to try it out and tell my subscribers about it and if it's good or not. So I bought it. When I first got it, uh, I, you know, a lot of beach hunting I do. I went down to the beach with it. It was giving me a little bit of static on the beach. I said, man, I'm not sure it's going to work or not. But then I, I said, let me go back and reread. And, man, every detector is different. You really got to study. Everyone's got a lot of nuances with them and all. But anyway, it was my ground balance issue. I'll put a link to a video I did about it up here. I'll try to put a link right here. Once I got the ground balance right, no issue with the beach. It did great. The best thing about that detector is it's like $250 for the basic detector. Where can you get a waterproof detector for $250? I mean, you can't go to, you know, you go to Walmart, buy those cheap things on, they ain't worth nothing. You're going to be, you, you can't hear anything with them. But I tell you what, I was really impressed with the Simplex. Um, and right now, in, in the price wise, you know, a lot of people, you know, the, the, the one I've been using lately is $1,600. That's expensive. A lot of people do not have that kind of money to, to go out and buy one. I don't want to spend that on one. They use it once a month, maybe, or something. They don't want to put up a bunch of money. I, I use want mine daily. So anyway, I still recommend the Simplex to people. I, I don't want to spend over three, three, two, three hundred dollars all I want to spend. That's the machine to go to to knock the Simplex. I'm telling you, for the price, you're not going to beat it. Now, as you go up and and you know, like the Legend, the Equinox, or they have a lot more functions on and all to to operate. Now, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad because it's a little more complex and all. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I was uh, I, I do recommend that one in cases where your your money is issued. Now, let's talk about the legend right here. I actually now I've seen a lot of stuff online about it, and I was really getting interested for a couple of reasons. One, I like the Knox, but I can't handle the Knox leaking, and that's why I've kind of gone away from it. I haven't heard of anybody having a problem with the Knox leaking. I mean, with the uh, legend leaking and i got a friend of mine that has tested and he said it 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 matches the equinox as far as performance goes so i said hmm, maybe this at the time i was thinking before i got into the latest detector maybe that could replace uh my equinox and uh, i won't have a leak because i do like the way they're built and how they handle it on so anyway that's one of the reasons why i want to get it and try it and then all of a sudden one shows up at my door to try out man Perfect timing. I can't wait to get out of the box and try it. But back to the uh, Anaka Macro Company. One thing I really like about them is how open they are about everything about the company. They have, a, of course, they got a website, Facebook page and all. But they have a rep there, um, uh, Delic, I think her name is. I, I, I'm not sure I pronounced that right. But anyway... She and I put links to all this down in my video description so y'all can check it out. I've never seen a company do this. They actually uh, go out and she actually she's a rep for the company and tells you all the updates, explains how to use it, explains changes they've made to the detector. 
a lot of us like to hear things versus sitting and read, read, read. And she does an excellent job explaining the different things that have come out with the products they have. They and this this is unreal. What I'm getting to tell you, they actually discuss issues they have. How many times do you have you seen mine come and say, "Hey, yeah, we got a leak on the equinox. We're working to fix it. This is what we're gonna do." You don't hear that from them. They actually say, "Hey, we got this issue. Uh, we're, we're making changes to it. We're gonna go out. It's, we have a one in ten thousand has this problem, but we're gonna fix it. And this is what we're gonna do." I really like the proactive approach the company has to their products. I really do like that. that, that that's amazing to me how they. Uh, Announce right online an uh, issue they have and what they're going to do to fix it. I wish all of them did that because we, we always uh, say on our sites, uh, the problems we have here, probably nobody listens. Seems like nobody listens to us anyway. But anyway, back to the legend. I can't wait to get this out of the box and try it. I haven't, I have not taken it out at all. This is what it looks like in here. We got an instruction manual. All right, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get it all out. And uh, put it together, and then we're going to talk some more about this machine. It's like anyone that I, I'm going to have to read the instruction book, but I have looked online, and a lot of the functions are very similar recovery speed, and a lot of things that you see on all the other machines. I mean, a lot of this technology is, is readily available to everybody out there. Everybody pretty much uh, has the same thing. They're all using VLF frequencies. I mean, you multiple frequencies, probably 4 to 40 hertz frequencies. Um, the higher the frequency, the smaller type uh, items you get. Your multi-frequency has really come around in the in the past few years and all that. Um, and so that used, that's all you see out there now. But anyway, technology is there. So let's get it out of the box, put it together, and see what we got. Y'all ready? All right, first thing we got is the instruction manual. This particular kit does come with these small coils. It's packaged right on top of everything right here. Uh, okay, now I'm about to look this. Legend hat. All right, this is one of the shafts right here, it looks like. Let's see. This is, yep. All right, check this out. Just notice this. Most things you can figure out on your own. Here's a locking thing that locks it down. Open it up, pull the shaft out. This is where the cores will go. I can see that. But I want y'all to look at one thing. Carbon fiber! Every machine I ever get, I always, the first thing I do is get the carbon fiber lower shaft. It's already on it. I'm liking it. Pretty cool right there. I like that. All right. Let's see what else we got here. All right. That looks like some uh, charging and some strap that goes on the, on the, probably on this right here. Let's see what we got here. I have not had this out yet, so I don't know what I'm looking at here yet. All right. Oh, okay. This is strap. Got a little strap here to hold it in. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Came right off. Okay. All right, here we go. There it is, right there. The legend. I like it. All right, we got some uh, multi pin plugs back here. Charge it in the coil, I'm sure. Right there on the back. Front of it, right there. Here's the arm cuff right there. You can be holding it like that. The other piece goes in that. Do we need to read the instructions? We have to do that in a minute. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is probably gonna be the headphones, I'm assuming. Yep. And they're wireless, so we'll put those, we'll have to pair those up. I don't know if it comes, it will pair automatically or not. Uh, looks like a charging cord, and it will coil down here. Let's check the coil out here. All right, guys. Here's the coil. I think it's probably 11 inch coil right there. Looking good. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to hold off on the video just a second and, and kind of get it all together here and break the instructions out. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> I only took a couple minutes to put it together. The coil actually just has two washers that go in between here and you tighten it up. And this is really nice. It's got, a, you can really grab these right here to tighten them up real easy right in here because it's got a big old piece on it there and there so that worked out really good carbon fiber shaft like i said the connectors are very easy to work right there and they do lock it in i can't move it and the shaft itself is is stiff i don't know if y'all remember the dais is real loose the one that comes with it and it's not carbon fiber so i like the carbon fiber and the firmness of the sh of the whole system set up here very well 
Uh, what we're going to do now, oh, one, one thing I want to tell y'all about before they ship this one, they want to make sure that the latest version, they come out just like you have to upgrade your detector every now and then. Uh, the electronics in here are upgradable, just like a computer going to the next operating system, right? This one has been updated to version 1.09, and it gives you all the different things that this version has changed. And if I'm, if I'm thinking right, you know, a lot of these could have come from some of the users that say, hey, we need this, we need that. They're very proactive in listening to uh, users and what we need. And also the company itself, I'm really impressed with how they operate. So we'll see how that goes and how, how uh, any other things that they upgrade and everything. That's pretty cool. Anyway, version 1.09 is there. I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get it charged up. Uh, just look, see it, just see it cut on, see how it works, and I'll show you that now. I have know nothing basic about it, so I'm, you know, that y'all that don't have it yet, y'all in my same boat. Probably just use some standard, um, I, I want to go to the beach and try it out, use a standard beach program. Um, I do know a little bit, like, say, recovery speed and some of that stuff, I already real familiar with that, so I can adjust some of that if I need to, but first thing I do is learn how to cut it on, right? All right, let's get it charged up and go from there.